Pamplona, Spain, the place where danger is sought and survival instincts are put to the test. Every year, during the festival of San Fermin, people come from all over the world to run with the bulls. It's the ultimate adrenaline rush. Since the bull run began, hundreds of people have been horribly gored and many have lost their lives. Thousands invade Pamplona to experience the sheer thrill of facing death. This summer, firefighter Andy Minton is one of them. At home, I had a lot of friends tell me I'm crazy, but it's something I've always wanted to do ever since I was a teenager and finally put some money together and here it is. Hopefully it's a, uh, the first of many trips to Pamplona. And has agreed to take part in our experiment to see how the body responds at moments of acute danger, like being chased by six angry bulls. Okay, we got a heart rate monitor here. Gonna go around my torso. He'll be wired up to a whole variety of medical sensors. First, a heart rate monitor. This will relay information to a special watch he'll wear on his wrist. It's like it's fluctuating between 104 and 110. That's a little high. That's a little high. I can feel I can feel my heart beating beating in my chest right now. It's blood pressure cuff. It's gonna go on my left wrist. I'm gonna get a blood pressure reading right now. See how excited I am. About an hour and 15 minutes before the run. Got 159 over 112, so it's a little high already. Finally, I'm going to put a swab in my mouth. It's gonna measure the cortisol level. It's a stress hormone. The body chemical cortisol is closely associated with adrenaline. Adrenaline may save Andy's life, enabling him to run faster than he's ever done before. Now that Andy is rigged and ready, all he has to do is to wait. I feel excited. It's an hour before the run and uh, we watch him erect the barriers. I'm ready to go. The possibility of death by a bull is, it's there, it's real. It's, uh, it's in the back of my mind. The bulls are released. And he waits for them to come near. In the tradition of the bull run, the challenge is to get as close to a charging bull as you dare, without getting gored. The bulls are just inches away, and Andy's body is flooded with a massive burst of adrenaline. His cortisol levels more than double. From a normal resting rate of 72 beats per minute, Andy's heart rate rockets, tripling to an amazing 230 beats per minute. in fear. It's, you can feel the stomp of the feet and the hopes and everything. It's wow. It's incredible. The fear instincts that we rely on to save our lives are immensely powerful. So it's very difficult to turn them off at will. Which may explain why so many of us are afraid of animals like spiders and snakes. The fear is a legacy from a time when these creatures were a very real threat to our survival. That's why, across all cultures and continents, we're primed to spot them instantly. And fear of snakes is the number one fear. 
Here in Los Angeles, we've set up an experiment. We've reassured everyone that these snakes aren't poisonous. But can the modern temptation of a $10 bill overcome our ancient fear? $10 is not enough. <laughs> but there's just so many of them. <laughs> no. uh. I could never put my hand in there, ever. Oh, for anything in the world. I know it sounds crazy, but I have chills even being near them. <laughs> I know that sounds like a chick thing, but I can't help it. They just, ah. Oh. They're like death to me. They're like the epitome of death. This one's coming after me. <laughs> Nah, it's not worth it for ten dollars. Five hundred dollars? I would try for one million dollars. Ten dollars? No. No way. Of course, it is possible to overcome our instincts. <laughs> oh my god, I know anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit, yeah. <laughs> but overcoming them is quite a battle. Ah! <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Fear is so important for our survival, we do something absolutely remarkable. Our bodies begin to react to a threat before we're even consciously aware of what the threat might be. Because when we're faced with danger, milliseconds count. first hint of danger, early warning signals are sent to the brain via the optic nerve to our tiny and primitive fear center, the amygdala. This prepares our body for action. Next, nerve pulses are fired down the spinal cord to the adrenal glands near our kidneys. This triggers a release of adrenaline. Now we're on full alert. Adrenaline is the vital hormone that can flood our body in a split second. As it reaches our lungs, we breathe more deeply and take in more oxygen. It also makes our heart beat faster. Oxygen-rich blood is diverted to our muscles. They are now charged springs, waiting for the signal to run or fight. All this before our conscious mind has even registered a threat. This reaction to fear has evolved over millions of years and is known as the fight or flight response. But what happens when there's nowhere to run? <laughs> <laughs> 